Hey guys, so today's video is about cults like in the RPG setting and how you can make them more interesting and you know just make them better than just oh they're mentals. Oh they're in black hoods and they worship, worship Cthulhu, Cthulhu you That's know. It. But we do go at delve into some sensitive some, topics. Some real cults in this and we do talk about religions. Real religion stuff like that and Whatever we say in this video, it is not meant to hurt anyone. It's just, we're having a discussion, we're having yeah. a debate. We're and if you have anything to add in the comments, add it. Because I love hearing you get your guys' opinions from all over. But look, enough about that. Let's get into the video and I'll see you at the end. Realistic cults. So recently I've wanted to run a campaign in an urban fantasy setting. Where one of the ally NPCs is a recent escapee from a cult that's kind of like Scientology. My idea is that I include enemies like the Sea Org, but I'm not sure where to start with it. Cults in fantasy are always portrayed as random hooded guys worshipping Cthulhu, but in real life they're more interesting than that, and make heavy use of psychological manipulation and shaming. I want my players to really get a feel of how they operate before they take them down. It is an interesting concept, yeah. because let's be honest with you, pretty much all cults I've came across in like role playing games tend to be they are a bit they're not lazy per se no it's just but they're, it's yeah. like anyone that has half a brain would be like well I'm not joining this <laughs> yeah you know um, but I do but find you can sniff a cult out yeah exactly like, it's like well okay are you guys all in lobes are you worshipping Cthulhu what's mm. going on <laughs> but I find Scientology really fascinating and that, I kind of want to do this one say that word I don't want Tom Cruise coming up oh yeah Tom door. Cruise <laughs> is going to come in and start kicking the fuck out of us honestly Tom Cruise terrifies me Tom like, Cruise if, scares the life out of me if you think that Tom Cruise isn't terrifying there's something not quite right then you haven't read them <laughs> <laughs> yeah but look let's get into this thread because I think it's going to be pretty interesting one of my main problems when running a cult or introducing one is that I find it difficult to imagine why people would join such a cult. Why would someone devote their lives to the dark powers and commit to bringing around an apocalypse? I mean, the only reason I can think of is because they're crazy, which really isn't an adequate answer. Do they do it for power? That's how it's usually portrayed in media. But most cultists seem to end up with less autonomy and less power over their lives as they're forced into your religious doctrine. I think they don't really realise it though. Generally speaking, I think a lot of the time when it comes to cults... It's pure brainwashing. It is, it is a mix of brainwashing, but it's because they believe if they follow these goals, mm. they will be blessed in the afterlife. They're mm. God's chosen people. Mm. Think like... Uh, it's kind of like, like can cancel uh, culture on Twitter. It, if yeah. they believe that they'll follow and cancel these people, they are doing right in the world. Well... Do you know what I mean? Well, almost, you could argue that woke culture is, is a, a cult. form of cultism. Yeah, it is. Because, I think of it like this, 100%. whenever you get woke, right, you have this deep-seated... I'm right, in, everyone else in this world is wrong. If you don't have the same views as me, yeah. and you don't believe in the same things I believe in, then you are always wrong. Yeah, you're the definition Cancelled, of... Cancelled, end off. You are evil in, uh, incarnate. Yeah. Cultists do what they do because they believe the cult doctrines are true. In other words, the cult's doctrine makes sense in their minds, and they could probably recite the reasons why they believe it off the top of their heads. That's not to say that a cult wouldn't recruit from the mentally ill. But remember that being crazy basically means that you follow an alternate pattern of logic. Well, what's that saying? You never be you never believe that you're crazy? Yeah. Like, you know, a crazy person can never identify that they're crazy. crazy yeah. You know? i.e. Tom Cruise <laughs> <laughs> I don't care Tom Cruise does terrify me like he really does freak me out hey, what was the there's wife? a reason why Kitty Holmes grabbed the child and bolted out the back door <laughs> and legged it over the like, fence how bad does that have to be for when your wife grabs the way and is like fuck this, this? I'm out see yeah. you later <laughs> like that's bad generally the best way to build cults for an RPG I think would be organising it into pillars that make cults interesting and fleshing them out from there the pillars would be as follows. What does the cult look like to the public? What image does it cultivate? What is the cell of the cult? What does it promise initiates to get them through the door? What is the myth underneath the cell? What do they manipulate initiates into believing to make them fanatical followers? And finally, what is the cult really about from the top down? Is it just a scam? Is it about consolidating power? From there you can build a few interesting twists in. The cult isn't what it was originally made as, either having been co-opted by an interloper or changed by a schism in following. 
The cult may not be directly nefarious, while strange and perhaps fabricated, it genuinely operates as a club or church with similar motivation, collects dues, increase membership, provide services, profit, expand and improve. The cult is a front or psyop for the government, for organised crime, for another organisation. Some curtain separates the cult from the real organisation, which may be ranks of membership or something completely else. Remember that effective cults are interesting cults, and interesting cults often invent ritual, tradition and dogma to attract followers. Don't be afraid to produce outlandish rites and beliefs, but make sure they have a minimal degree of consistency to themselves, such that someone who believes in one part will be likely to believe in other parts. You know, this really reminds me of one of the biggest ones that I always think about is Davidians. Like, you know, I know this video is probably... Yeah, like, saying Waco, you know, well, frantically. We're going to get F- Mr. FBI yeah. man fucking busting through our what windows. What are you saying? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, Waco I find a very interesting one because to me, I consider the Davidians more of like a uh, Dave Clash. I consider him more of like a... I think of it more of like a sex cult. It was a sex cult. Tell me it wasn't. Like, you know, he did have a lot of kids. Um, the what it was handled very poorly by the FBI, which of course a lot of you guys know created so many like conspiracy theories breaking off of that, and I can't really talk about any of these conspiracy theories we're because not David Icke. Yeah, because we're <laughs> well, that and I don't want to get you know. Well, we're going to get demonetized because we said David Icke. <laughs> yeah, we probably will actually. Be honest with you, yeah. you could, you could, but yeah, I. What I always think when it comes to cults. It has to have a cult of personality. Think, like, what do you call the guy that was in charge of Heaven's Gate? Yeah. Dave Clash. And your original guy who was... Uh, what, what do you call the... You know the Japanese one? No, what was your man who was originally the leader of um, Scientology? Oh, yeah, the book writer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you really... I would work it on the cult of personality. Charlie Manson? Yeah, excellent part. Like... There's not many cults that I can think of that don't have a cult of personality, mm-hmm. and I think that's really important. You need an eccentric, head honcho, boss type man, yeah. you know, that the followers are genuinely like Justin oh. Bieber. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you could say that as well. Like, you know, look at all them girl, girls cutting themselves for cut for Bieber. Cut for Bieber Remember Bieber, that a few yeah. years back? There's a lot you could do with this. I, I love the concept, so I do. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Cults take their members from the people on the outskirts of society. The homeless is a good target. What was that, um, cult that took over the land in somewhere random? Was it in Oregon? That, yeah, it And was. they followed that Indian, like... It was an Indian guru, guru I think. kind of thing, but they took over land... And they they bought the land, and yeah. they wanted to make themselves like their own state. Yeah, it was really weird. So they had to have like a certain amount of people. So all these people started like invading this, and it was a small town, like population of like a hundred people, like, if even, if even. And they started like invading this there's big a good, bit of land. There's, there's, a, there's a, document, a good documentary uh, on Netflix. Netflix. You should check it out. And they ended up because they needed certain numbers and they wanted to take over the whole town eventually. Yeah. They started bringing homeless people from like the city. Oh yeah. Of Oregon. Yeah. They started bringing the but homeless they tur- people. But it turned the place into an absolute shithole. Like, like it like, completely sh- run it down. Yeah. Because like, it was the so, people that you need to watch the, it. The original right members of this cult were very like yuppie. I went away to India my gap yard to find yeah. myself. Yeah. You know, like those types of people. Yeah. Um, but you do get that with some cults. Some cults do go for like, you know, the upper member of society, Scientology. Scientology. They like to get their actors, very well received mm-hmm. people in the media, you know, yeah. um, who are the other ones? Like that one we are just talking about, educated type mm-hmm. people. Um, even um, Heaven's Gate, like, you know, they a lot of programmers. They, yeah, a um, lot, not even programmers. They were a lot of... Um, Rich, not rich, but upper middle class yeah. families and stuff. Yeah, they were to, pretty well to do. You they know? give over all their their money. It makes you wonder, like, why? What is it that makes people? I is it know. is is it that they just bored? Is it a midlife mm. crisis? 
Yeah, and did Charlie Manson did the did the girls that were with Charlie? No, they were gone away. They, yeah, they, they, they were gone they were gone away. They, they so they were more into the society yeah. to go on to that. Yeah. Sorry, we kinda dragged on there, so we'll just start this line again. So cults take their members from the people on the outskirts of society. The homeless is a good target. But in the cult, which group of people is getting the short end of the stick to do changing society? I.e. which groups whose power bases is collapsing as the best targets? If workers are being replaced by machines, they're the ones most open to cults. Are nobles being replaced by merchant houses? Then they are top target. Of course, even in those groups, the most isolated are the primary target. Yeah, I yeah. think isolation is a key point. You need to get people alone, people, and that's one of the big things with a lot of cults. Like, you know, they try and get you away from, like, look at R. Kelly. But you, R. Can, Kelly. you can almost see that to a certain extent on how politicians run. Well, but like, pol- politics in itself is very cult like. Oh, yeah, it is. You it's... could see it with, like, this election, like, oh, yeah. very cult like, either. Oh, oh my god, god Trump or oh my, my god, god Biden. Biden like it was it, it there's it, no in between no. um it is weird I do find uh, I find politics is the new religion for a lot of people though yeah. and let's be honest with you religions are just cults that took off yeah <laughs> like you know no it is if, if, if we'd be straight up with it you know cults don't see the gods they worship as evil obviously they are the right and good and you're the wrong and evil the exact thing that you think about them easy to see a goal of world destruction being about entering eternal pleasure or heaven or something. The altar faction in Elder Scrolls want to unmail the world because they see themselves as temporary departed gods and think that the world is their prison. Once unmade, they believe they will ascend to godhood or something. Cultists of Bahal in the Forgotten Realms kill people they thought were his godchildren to make him powerful enough to reincarnate and he assumed they would be rewarded after the fact. In real life, some Christians and Buddhists, among others, think that living a simple, poor and shitty life will let them get into heaven, sublime. Some cultures seem to think that everyone they killed would be their slave in the afterlife. Easy to make an evil murderer cult from that. That's very true. Very true. There's a lot of stuff you can base. Mm -hmm. Like, even, like, early Christianity is... Come on here, like, early Mm -hmm. Christianity is cult. It is a cult. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, any early religion... I always think of the, the... I can say this because I'm from Northern Ireland, but the Catholic religion, yeah, they have a very, you know, abstain from sex oh, until marriage, oh, yeah. abstain from this, um, don't use contraception, mm. don't use this, don't do that, because it's against God, but I can see that very cult-like in a oh, sense. Oh, it is, it is cult-like. Mm. Um, I, I think a lot of... Don't, like, have con- don't use contraception because it means we'll get more Catholic children in our religion. Yeah, pretty much. That, like, you know, try and breed, breed, breed and multiply. Mm. Get as many members as you can. You know, you mm. want to get the church as big and powerful as possible. Yeah. What was it Napoleon said? Women are simply factories for soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe you could say that. I, I, I could see, like, maybe a middle-aged pope saying just the same Something thing. Something like that, yeah. Um, women are just simply factories for crusaders. So while it doesn't relate to why people join, I can tell you why people don't or can't leave. People who get pulled into cults are encouraged to start investing into the cult. Time, money, personal life, etc. Typically, a cult supervisors make people who are indoctrinated or isolated, and without means of reaching out for help. Most people who realise they're in a cult either realise it early enough and nope the fuck out, or by the time they realise, they're usually too isolated and entrenched to pull out of it. People have very frequently likened cults to abusive relationships, 100%. Oh, that's actually a really good way to describe them, yeah. When an abuser wants to take power over you, they start trying to influence you, isolate you, start telling you who you can and cannot spend time with, where you can and can't go, if you can own a phone. Basically, outside of the doctrine of beliefs within a cult, the mentality should be understood as a network of abusers and the victims they've isolated from the world. The victims also have some sort of exploitable quality the abusers or cults saw and decided to take advantage of. Very, very true. That's that's, that's very good. I think Uh, that guy, that post in particular, couldn't get more spot on. Yeah. It is very um, likened to an abusive relationship. It's so where they make you feel like you you're, you can't get out well, first and of if all, you get out you feel bad first of all the cult try and embrace you and love you 
and try and get you in the door and be like, oh, you're part of a community here. Mm -hmm. You're part of the chosen people. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is so important to the world. We can't stop now. We can't let everybody in, but you're But you're part of it. How lucky are you to get yourself in Uh here? Look at how good we are. Look, Mm -hmm. look, we're doing doing God's work, Mm -hmm. guys. You know, and then say something happens or whatever and say oh fuck these boys are actually mental what am I doing you've already been in you've you, already put like let's say they know everything about you a lot of them they get secrets you, you have your, they have all your bank t- details near enough you have mm. to give all your wages yeah to it it's ridiculous oh no yeah no wonder people feel trapped in it yeah like I, I don't know how excited like have any of you guys ever seen the interviews with like ex Scientologists and stuff oh it's mental stuff don't look them up because the FBI might watch it or not even the FBI Tom Cruise is watching. Yeah, it. Tom Cruise is gonna fucking <laughs> bust on our windows after we upload this video. If we don't upload in a few days, you know what happened, right, guys? <laughs> so, guys, I want you to tell me. Say you're gonna build a cult. What's your cult gonna be? What's your cult like? I think you need to have a very charismatic leader at yeah. the top. What's your demographic? Yeah. What would your what, what would your demographic who, go for? Would it be like how Scientology go for the rich? Yeah. Or you have to pay a certain price to get into the cult. Or religion or would you go for like the homeless and stuff like that and bring them in so you look like modern day jesus yeah yeah modern day jesus yeah would, be would a good... you look like that mm. so write down below on your thoughts on what we've said in this video because i find it really fascinating i love cults i'm really yeah. interested in or how would you play it in your role-playing game how yeah would you play Tell, it? Like... if you have done any cults before what have you done to try and make them a bit more realistic and maybe make the members a bit more not sympathetic but understand yeah. why that yeah. they're doing this? Which is very important, I think. And once again, we weren't we're not out here to hurt anyone, uh, yeah. to bash anybody's beliefs, beliefs or anything whatever. Like that. We're we're literally just having a conversation. We're using them as examples. Yeah. You know, um I, you know, look, you guys know how it is. I'm sure most of you guys couldn't give us a fuck what we say. Yeah. But uh, but. it's the internet, you know. <laughs> We, we, yeah, we have to put that warnings. out there. Yeah, you know, we just have to. But, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed this one. I we, really enjoyed we, it. we spent more time talking than going through the thread. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. It's yeah. For some interesting topics. So, as always, check out the links, check out the website, um, go up and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're up there because you'll get notified anytime we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>